morning Mary, it was lovely to see you yesterday and I thought you might appreciate coming out with me for a little walk because I know you can't. I've just left the house and I'll film where I walk. Right, this is the main road that leads to the bottom of our road and I walk along here, it's quite nice, it's got quite nice houses. I walked along here. closed and that's the estuary normally I walk over that bridge and then all along the towpath that leads past that ship but today we're going to carry on the gardens are here emptying the rubbish we're going to walk along this pathway carrying on up towards Old Lee right here we are Mary at the top of the cliffs that's back towards our house where the beaches are and then there's a path that runs all along here which is closed off because it's too narrow here. That, that ship's called the Wilton and then you carry on. And when this madness is over, you and Eileen have got to get yourself on an airplane to South End Airport and come and visit us. We'd love to show you around. There you go. All the way down there towards the sea is the garden and we're walking this way. Up that road there, that leads onto our high street called the Broadway, and that's full of lovely shops and cafes, but they're all closed, so we'll continue along this road. Right, these houses, these are quite nice, they're in a like, cold and snow. They've all decided to hang colourful boating out on their houses, just to cheer everybody up. This is the top of the hill. And now we're going to be walking down this hill towards all of those houses with the bunting. And then up that road there, again, that leads up to the shops, which are not open. We're going to be carrying along down here. We've got the sea to the left of us. And we've got Lee to the right of us. And in front of us, in the distance, I don't know if you can see, there's a ruined castle called Hackney Castle. Can do all of it. Nice row of fishermen's cottages, they're really nice. Right, we walk down this hill and then up there are the church steps that lead up to the Broadway again. And uh, we're carrying along with small fishermen's cottages here. And we're carrying along down here. We're just crossing the railway line. This is the busy London C2C line to Fenchurch Street. Peter normally catches that every day, but he's working from home. And you can see the pubs there, but they're all closed. Right, we're going to walk over the bridge and into the old town then. Right, we've just crossed the bridge, but if you look back, you can see that church sticking up there. Eileen and Leo have been to that church one Christmas and they were doing a, an animal service. You can take your cat along to the service at Christmas time. They thought it was uh, really weird. Right, we're still on the bridge crossing the railway. That's the sailing club. Down there is the burnt out fishery that, that caught fire a few months ago and lost its roof. And there we have the estuary. It's high tide now. This pub's called the Mayflower. There's a pub at the back and then there's a sweet shop and a fish and chip shop at the front and then you've got the rock shop and then you've got the old smack in and then you've got cobbled streets going down we're going right, we, here we are now in the old town here's the cobbled streets and the fisherman's cottage that's the heritage center the red cafe is the strand tea rooms You've got a custom house here that, that, with the flag on it, but that's now someone lives there. And then we've got another pub coming up called the Peterboat. Again, okay, this is Strand Wharf, where that little cafe is, and this is the little square looking out to the estuary. There's Mike's boat yard there. And there's the tea rooms, and opposite. We've got another tea room, I'll show you. Right, Mary, here we are. This is another tea room. It's more a garden. It's called Sarah's Tea Rooms. And you sit in there, it's a lovely garden. It's not open, obviously. 
but that's there and this pub here is called the Peter Boat and then you've got some more fishermen's cottages this is Peter Boat pub all closed up normally on a day like this you would not you would not be able to get a seat here absolutely dead now and then at the end of the road here is the oldest pub in Lee, which is called the Crooked Billet. Oh, what you want there, Mary? We're at the end of Old Lee now, and this is the oldest pub, the Crooked Billet, and that looks out onto this courtyard that overlooks the estuary. There, Osborne's is a very, very famous shellfish and seafood company that supplies all the shellfish to London. This here is the cottage where my uh, friend lives and my rowing club meet for socials. As I say, Mary, whenever this madness is over, all that I've shown you is about a 15 minute walk from my house. And you and Eileen are welcome any time. Hop on a plane, come and see us, and I'll take you to all these lovely places. I'm going to go foraging now. Mary. That's the other end of that cottage I showed you where my rowing friend lived and it's what he looks out on. This is the estuary. This is where all the cockle boats haul up. Where they go out and collect the cockles. And this is where I go rowing. Not here, but over there on that island over there. Or Two Tree Island. That's where we keep our boats and that's where I row from. And down there there's a little beach. And I'll be going down there and showing you some free food that you can forage off the beach. There's a smashing little someone going out. And this is this beach is all made out of crushed cockle shells. And it's high tide at the moment. the cockle sheds and it leads out onto this little bay you can see how high the tide is loads of boats tied up and i'm going to this little little stony beach here where they've got some really nice bushes right, Mary. we've made it down onto this little outcrop this little and these are the bushes i'm talking about they grow on the shoreline and it's called sea beet and it's absolutely delicious. You, you 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 use it like spinach. It's a bit tough to eat raw, but it just melts down in a pan with a bit of butter, and it's delicious. So I'm going to pick some for my tea right. tonight. I've finished my foraging. I'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee, which I brought in a flask. This ash is CB in my bag. I've picked all this fresh. And that bush over there and now I'm going to sit down and have my flask of coffee by myself on the beach Peter's working from home so he's in the diner and working away and literally Mary this is like a 20 minute walk from my house or a two minute drive and I'd love you to come and spend some time with us anyway I hope you're having a good day and uh, I'll be thinking of you and I hope you enjoy my video. Love to everybody.